Hello and welcome to yet another exciting screencast. Um, if you are watching this one, I just want to make sure that you've already, what's the word I'm looking for, watched this one up here in the corner. Um, that is the course overview that goes over a lot of stuff in Canvas. This one's going to be relatively brief and just take you through the important parts of the syllabus which is here. Whoa, go away. Uh, there we are. So there's my name. There's my email address. You can email me. Uh, you can reply to Canvas messages. I will be using Canvas messages primarily to communicate with the class because it's a little bit easier. Um, but I have figured out how to make um, group group emails course specific email groups so i can now easily email all of you through outlook and outlook is just a little bit more robust when it comes to um, what you can do with it you can't copy and paste links and stuff into canvas so check both we'll see as the semester goes how we're doing about communicating uh, office hours are here i already showed you in the other video where that link is if you've forgotten, um, well, I'm not going to go to it. It's in the first module. There's an office hour that says link um, or a page for page for the link to the office hours. Just watch the other video. Uh, you are probably most concerned with your grade, and you've probably looked at this already. So the way it works is that you get one grade for the whole course, lab and lecture combined. Um, and you're going to get grades for your exams. These are going to be lab and lecture combined. We're going to have two lab exams that are relatively long and six lecture exams that are relatively short. So we're talking anywhere between 25 and 35 questions max, one or two chapters per exam, because uh, it's just a little bit easier to do online that way. So that's 70% of your grade. Um, Discussions, we're going to have weekly discussions. Those I still need to post. Um, this week's is up, so don't forget to do it by Friday. Um, those are going to be 2% of your grade. We're going to have a quiz, lab quiz, pretty much every Monday, um, except for when we're having lab exams or the week after a lab exam. Uh, those are going to be 10 questions. I think you get 8 minutes. They're worth 10 points. Um, and there are nine of them. Lab work is going to be your lab reports. You're going to have lab reports and dissection reports uh, to do every week. Those are not all populated in Canvas, um, but they will be soon. That's sort of repetitive work that should go pretty quickly on my end just to get the reports populated. Um, so that'll be part of lab that we'll explain every week. Um, Lecture work, if you look down here, is a combination of mastering, um, which is in the course, but I need to redo it as I am recording this, um, and some other homework that this I need to still put in Canvas because um, I need to look at where we're going to be and generate special assignments for that and figure out how those handouts are going to work. Um, but there's just a handful of those. As it says here, there's four. So I'll get those up, if not this week, next week, and they'll start trickling in over the course of the semester. Um, so it's four or five handouts that you'll submit through Canvas. We'll talk about in our review session when we get together once a week, probably on Thursday. Um, and then I think there's maybe 11 mastering assignments. Um, so there's somewhere around 15 to 16 homework assignments. You can miss two of them. I just drop two. If you miss it, you get a zero. It goes away, but it doesn't affect your grade because you get two drops. Um, I will be dropping one of your lecture quizzes. So if you miss a lecture quiz, you get a zero, but then the drop just makes it go away. Um, for lab quizzes as well, uh, as, well as long as we're talking about that up here, that's next. I drop two out of nine lab quizzes. Um, so you can have two bad days or you can just forget to do two quizzes. But if you miss more than two, um, you get a zero. And if it's late, you get a zero. Like none of this stuff should be late because it's all going to be posted well in advance and you can do it anytime because it's fully online. 
Um, so I do not accept late work, but you can submit quite a few things late or miss things and have it not affect your grade. Um, so the way the categories are going to work is you get one average score for your category that averages all of the points available in the category. So for example, if you had two exams and you got 60 out of 100 on one exam and 70 out of 100 on the other exam, Canvas is going to have your score be 130 out of 200, right? Because 60 plus 70 is 130. And then calculate that percentage, whatever half of 130 is. That's your percentage score um, for that category. And then those percentages um, are given this much weight in your final grade. Um, so the length of an assignment does count in, within that category. If an exam has more questions on it, it's going to affect your grade more than an exam that has fewer questions on it. So your two longer lab exams are going to have a bigger effect on your overall exam grade than all of your smaller lecture exams. So keep that in mind. Do not blow off your lab exams. Uh, let's see. The scale is over here. That is the official um, what do you call that? RVCC grading scale. Um, this is the schedule. It should match what's in Canvas. We'll try and stick to it. Um, it should be pretty easy to stick to because all I have to do is post videos and you watch them. It's not like covering stuff live where you have to get through a certain number of things. Um, this course will just run itself kind of once I make all the recordings. Uh, so keep an eye on the dates of things. Um, lab, we will be doing at least one dissection. We do a sheep brain. If for religious reasons um, you're not supposed to touch animals or do dissections, um, we can find workarounds. Uh, most likely what I would have you do is just mold a brain out of your modeling clay um, and make it look good and put pins and everything. Um, but there will be pictures of dissected brains on the lab exam so you will be assessed on your ability to identify anatomy in a dissection. Um, I think I already talked about the lab quizzes that's here. Um, there's, inf there's a wording in here about logging on and logging off. I forgot that's part of the synchronous course so don't worry about that. Um, you just take your lab quiz every Monday. Um, and I should also say, well, we'll do that maybe when we get to the calendar. Um, no, I won't. So the way everything is going to work for assessment, quiz or exam, whatever day it's on, it will be available to you for 24 hours. So if you have a lab quiz on a Monday, Sunday night into Monday morning, 12 a.m. Monday morning, you can open it up and take it. Or you can wait until... 11.30 Monday night. So it's available the whole time, but you're only going to have, if it's a lab quiz, eight minutes to get it done. So that's how that's, how that's going to work. Everything, all of your quizzes and exams are going to be on the days that I have designated, but you'll have 24 hours to find time to do it. If, especially if it's an exam and it is a hellacious work day, doesn't work well for you, um, let me know. I can move it. Everybody's exam is going to be a little different anyways because I use pools of questions um, to make it a little bit harder to cheat. Um, not that anybody in this class ever would, I'm sure. Um, but at any rate, uh, just keep, keep that in mind. That's how quizzes and exams are going to work. And if you have a day where you don't even think you're going to be able to find time to take a quiz, um, let me know and we could push it back or move it forward or something. Uh, I would ignore this. I put this workflow in here when I thought I was organized and then I went and put everything into Canvas and things weren't fitting together the way I thought they would. Um, so I don't think this is really accurate anymore. You can read the course description, the learning outcomes. Uh, withdraw. This one is important. So keep an eye on these dates here. Um, 
If you do not like the grade you're getting in the class and you would rather have a W on your transcript, you have to get out and withdraw from the course. Um, so where is that? By November 13th. If you log in one day, watch one of my stupid screencast videos, and decide I'm an idiot and you can't learn from me, and you're never going to log in again and forget about the class, you're still registered. You have to go through the process of removing yourself from the class and getting the W. Or if you drop the class now, it's just a drop and it doesn't go on your transcript. Um, but I cannot kick you out of the class and cannot remove you from the class, even if you never log in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, students should expect to spend a minimum of seven hours a week. This is going to be a time-consuming course. I'm going to try and have the labs not be super time consuming, but the idea is that when you're in lab, if it's an in-person course, it's 2.30 to 5.20, whatever that is, two hours and 20 minutes. We're supposed to give you two hours and 20 minutes worth of work to do, even if we're not needing to do it. And then you're supposed to have however much study time on top of that. So this can end up being a very time-consuming course. Well, I will try not to make the labs overwhelmingly busy work, but I do want to give you enough physical things to do so that you're actually learning the material by doing stuff um, instead of just trying to like reread your notes over and over and over. All right, moving right along. Strategies for success. Read this and think about it. Um, I will say getting a buddy, finding a way to study with other people is going to be critical because a lot of you are probably feeling isolated. Play around with Zoom. Um, if you logged into the school Zoom page and claimed your own Zoom account, you have your own Zoom meeting room that you can open anytime. And then you can open your meeting room and invite other people in the class to it. And you can share uh, whiteboards, white screen stuff, and annotate things on the screen and talk and chat. Um, I really do encourage you to try and try and make some contacts within the class and collaborate as much as you can studying. Um, there's also all of these links are active, so you can contact the Academic Support Center, advising and counseling. The library is open. If you need non-academic support. Um, like food pantry, counseling, uh, this is the Student Support Center, um, I forget, and I think, oh, advising and counseling has counseling as well. Um, right, this, this is a challenging time for many people, so if you need to talk to somebody about it, there's the advising and counseling center. Um, additional resources, what else is out there? Um, honestly, I would just say when it comes to studying, Try everything. Watch some videos. Try and teach it to your father, sister, daughter, husband, dog, goldfish, whatever. Um, talk about anatomy and physiology. Listen to people talk about anatomy and physiology. Watch videos on it. Make flashcards. Rewrite your notes. Um, do whatever it takes and try um, as many different study modalities as possible. Because um, one of the things you want to try and do is have multiple memories in your head. You want to have auditory memories, visual memories, motor memories of writing things down, um, physical memories of, of manipulating your lab stuff. Um, and every different one of those different ways of interacting with the material creates a distinct different memory in your head. Um, and so the more different kinds of memories you have rattling around in your cerebral cortex, that increases the chances that you're going to be able to recall one of them on the exam. Um, so there's that. Try everything. Um, try tutorial videos, Khan Academy, Crash Course. Um, there's a whole series of Crash Course videos that will get you through Anatomy and Physiology 1 and Anatomy and Physiology 2. Just go to YouTube and put in Crash Course Anatomy and Physiology. Hank Green will be there and he'll get you through the class. Um, so there's that. Khan Academy is also great. There's some histology stuff up there. 
Um, some people have already sent me accommodations. If you haven't sent an accommodation yet, please do. I will respond to everybody um, and let them know I got their accommodation. I'm a little swamped with email at the moment. Um, code of conduct. Oh, I don't think that applies to us. We're not going to have like people misbehaving. Uh, that's where to get your transcript. Um, academic integrity. Um, just because this is an online course doesn't mean you can copy and paste your answers. All of your work should be your own work, um, especially your lab work. This is why you have that personal identifier. So you're not just submitting pictures of somebody else's dissection. You need to do all the work on the quizzes and the exams. You need to answer all the questions. Um, so then last thing, how much time have we taken up so far? I can't tell. Um, but doesn't matter. Uh, last thing is extra credit. You can get up to 30 points of extra credit. There are two ways to get there, or a combination of ways. There's Radio Lab and there's Dynamic Learning Modules. Um, you can do just the Dynamic Learning Modules or just the Radio Labs, or you can do a couple of each. Whatever gets you to 30 points, you just can't go beyond 30 points. And all of this will be, or should be, on Canvas. So if you go, oh, look, there's my asynchronous video to, what am I looking for, modules, all the way down to the bottom. Oh, they're not in there. I thought I put them in there. Well, all the dynamic study modules are in there. I need to add the radio labs. Um, where are they? Oh, that's right, because they're in this different category. Uh, there, I'll just add one so I can show you what it's like to add things. Uh, there we go. There's a radio lab. So the dynamic study modules are really easy to do. You just click on them. It'll take you to mastering. You do it in mastering. It ends up in the grade book. Um, as you do these, they are not going to affect your overall grade in the course. Um, the way the Canvas gradebook works is that it works best if there's one extra credit grade that then gets added into your overall grade instead of trying to add up these 10 different things that you're doing. So I will go through and visually see how much extra credit you've done and then manually enter a total extra credit scored for the whole semester. So you're not going to see the effect of extra credit until probably a day or two before the final when I go in and see how much extra credit everybody has done. So for the dynamic study modules, uh, the way it works, it's an adaptive quizzing program. You open the module, it asks you questions, it asks you how sure you are, um, it offers hints. If you can answer them all correctly and say that you're sure and not get any hints, then you've mastered the material. And it basically just keeps giving you the questions until you can answer them all, and then you move on to the next module. Um, so as long as you're willing to put in the time, you should be able to get 100% on each one. For the radio labs, and I will put more in, this is a radio show produced by WNYC, New York Public Radio. Um, so you know it's nerdy. Um, each one of these will have a Word document associated with it. You will open the Word document. On the Word document, you should find a link to the Radiolab website that contains that particular episode. So here we have this one. We have to hit Control, right? Read what? Yes, no, it's just Radiolab. Just open it. Um, there it is. It's opening. And, oh, no, so every once in a while they redo their website and the links don't work. The links were working. Now it appears as though they are not. Um, right, so right. So what you're going to have to do, um, which is just as easy, is, which one is this? This is Radio Lab Lost and Found. So you're just going to have to Google Radio Lab lost and found, um, and it will take you to the episode that you want. I don't see a search function here. Um, 
No search for radio app. Yeah, so Google it. I'm sorry. I, it was working and then it was. Yeah, it was working and now it's not. Um, sorry, this is running long. So you Google it and then you listen and then you answer the questions as they are answered as you listen to the show. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Some people think it's annoying because it's a little overproduced. They make a lot of sound effects. Um, and, you know, they do a lot of back and forth arguing. The two hosts pretend to argue with each other so they can have the debate that people are having. Um, but I think it's more interesting because it's not just a straight up interview with a scientist saying, this is what I found about neurology and how people's brains know where they're located in the physical world. Um, it's at least not that. Um, so there's there's that again. You can either do the modules or the radio labs or some combinations of the two. Um, you just can't. I just won't give you credit for more than thirty points. And if you do thirty points, that just increases your overall grade in the class by three percentage points. So if Canvas is telling you you have an eighty-seven, and then you go and do thirty points worth of extra credit. Boom! You just got yourself up to an A. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to cover for this screencast. Um, there will be a separate video just for um, each of the chapter videos. So that should be coming up too. And I just need to figure out how to turn this off because it's hidden from me. There we go.